welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I hope your week has been off to an amazing start and I hope you all are in good. Okay, you guys, so today I have a huge collective shopping haul for you all. I've been collecting things for over the last few months for my kitchen and then my patio area. Those are the two rooms that I'm working on, I've been working on lately. We've been working on our kitchen for the last maybe three months. We've been doing a lot of the work. Well, actually, we're doing all the work ourselves except for our kitchen counters. So it definitely has been a process, very slow process. So bear with me. I can't wait to share with you all all of the beautiful upgrades that we have done to those areas. So definitely make sure you have on your post notification and um, you are scribe, you subscribe to the channel so that way you don't miss any of my kitchen essential hauls. So I'm going to share with you some beautiful items that I have found for my kitchen. Some items I definitely needed to upgrade because it's been maybe, it's been years since I actually purchased some items for my kitchen. I did purchase a few items in my um, for my outdoor space, my patio. I do have a new area rug to go outside on my patio area. I did purchase some new plants to um, upgrade the lighting in my family room. So I had a chance to work with a company called Urban Ambiance. So Urban Ambiance has like a huge selection of lights. They have pendant lights, they have ceiling fans, they have beautiful chandeliers. So I definitely wanted to upgrade my space and my family room area to make it a lot more brighter. The light that we have in there now is a ceiling fan. The light is very dull. It doesn't give off much bright light at all. So I definitely wanted to upgrade and change that. So I picked out a beautiful chandelier that I'm going to reveal to you all in another video, but I'm just going to insert a little clip of Urban Ambiance website and show you the light that I picked out and also show you all of the different selections that they have available. Okay. So I have the Urban Ambiance link linked down in the description box below if you guys are interested. So let's get into the shopping haul. I have been to several different stores buying things for my kitchen. So that's mainly, like I said, that's the area that I've been I definitely working. wanted to switch out some pieces in my kitchen to kind of make everything flow and function a whole lot better. So I'm all into aesthetics. So I like to have my things aesthetically pleasing on the outside, but also functional. So in this shopping haul, I'm going to show you some nice kitchen items that you can purchase. A lot of these items are, some of these items are luxury items. Some of these items are like everyday items that look high end, but it's just a little bit of everything. So we're going to start with Target first because I picked up a lot of things from Target. So the first thing that I picked up from Target was an outdoor area rug and yeah. I'll insert a clip of that area rug so you can see. So my patio furniture that I have out there is kind of round and kind of like tan color uh, cushions and everything. So I was trying to find a rug that'll fit perfectly for that space. So I ended up finding this beautiful rug from Target. It was is actually in a seven by 10. It was like $120. It's really pretty and it has all the colors that I've got going on out there in the patio. So it has some creams and browns, things like that in it. So it's gonna fit beautiful in that. Space. Also from Target, I had the opportunity to pick up, I did pick up one home decor. It's like a nice little decorative piece. It's by the Studio McGee brand. And it was only like $20. I've seen other influencers haul this, well not haul this, but decorate with this. And I thought it was so cute and unique. And um, just really nice item to sit on top of your coffee table book. I think Julie Simply Love, she has one and she decorates. She has a beautiful home. I just love her channel. And she has the same thing. So I definitely would have needed a new, a new garlic press. So I picked up this little garlic press from Target as well. And then this was... Um, I think it was like six dollars so it was really inexpensive but it's just stainless steel and then it also has like the rubber on there to keep your hands and everything from getting um from hurting from you i am a fan of joanna Gaines, even though our styles are different i'm definitely more modern more glam and she's definitely a modern farmhouse but i love some of the pieces that she has in her collection so i picked up a few items from her collection so the first items that i picked up were her wooden spoons So I picked up two of these wooden spoons and it has this pretty dark um, walnut color, which I thought was really cute because sometimes you only find the ones in the store that has like that, um, the lighter color wood. So I really love the dark colored uh, walnut color. And I think the spoons were $4.99, $4.99 each. So I picked up like, I think I ended up picking up four of these spoons. So I'm showing you two in this video here, but I also have uh, two additional ones that I bought maybe a few weeks ago. So I, so I end up have a total of four of the spoons and then I also have a to, um, one of her wooden spatulas and the wooden spatula was like $4.99 as well. But this will look really cute inside of a marble canister, things like that, really pretty. So I picked up 
I got a total of, let's see, I got four spoons and then one wooden spatula. Then I also picked up her wooden um, salad, uh, salad fork and salad spoon, but I don't have it here with me next to me. But um, yeah, I also need a new crock pot for my kitchen. So I'm definitely, I'm on the, I'm in the process of changing out some older items that definitely need a upgrade and need a refresh in my space. So my crock pot is very old. I had it for at least about seven to eight years old. And I think it doesn't even, I don't even know if it works functioning because it sometimes it heats and then sometimes it doesn't. So I definitely needed to replace that. So I ended up picking up Joanna Gaines crock pot. This crock pot is really nice, you guys. It's so nice and very aesthetically pleasing. I love the upgrades and the functions that it has on there. So I'm gonna share that with you all. Okay, you guys, so this is the crock pot that I picked up. And like I said, it is from um, Joanna Gaines Magnolia. Uh, hearth and hand collection is very cute i love that it has this really pretty kind of like baby gray i thought it was cream but it's almost kind of like a light gray and black really nice it has a digital um dialer down here at the bottom then i really love it because it has a a top that secures the lid to the base of the crock pot so if you love cooking with your crock pot and things like that especially if you do a lot of potlucks and things like that for your job or you know, family and friends, this comes in handy because it keeps the crock, the lid from moving and keeping all your food from going all over the place, all over your car. So I love that. So, and this was very inexpensive. It was like $39. So, so super cute. And then it would definitely match with a lot of home decor styles. Like I said, her style is definitely modern farmhouse and I'm more modern and glam. It still will fit right in. Now also from Target, I picked up a few dishes. Now all of my dishes are white, but I do if I have like a, add a little bit of color, it's always like gray. Cause I try to, I try to match my stuff in my kitchen with was, I try to match my things in my kitchen with, with what's going on with the rest of the home. So I like everything to kind of flow. So yeah, my house is definitely very neutral. So everything is gonna be white or gray. That's just my color palette that I'm working with. So I did pick up a few dishes. So I picked up these cute little coffee mugs from the Project 62. Yeah, Project 62 collection is stoneware. Very cute. I thought these were so modern. They look very high end for the price. The coffee mugs were $2 each really nice just like a kind of simple design and but it looked really nice in my kitchen and they were like i said they're two dollars each they look very high end real stoneware and it's from the project 62 they did have it in white i think they had like a kind of darker color gray as well so i ended up picking up them picking them up in this pretty baby kind of dove gray and now they did have these out of stock in my area so i had to order them online and then have them um ship to the store because they are definitely always sold out so i definitely would recommend you checking your local target if you're interested but i'll try to link the i'll have the links linked i'll have them linked in my description box below too now what draw me to this collection was these beautiful salad bowls or pasta bowls i thought this was so unique it looks so high end i love the design of it now they do have a regular cereal bowl which i think is about three dollars but i didn't pick up the cereal bowl i just picked up the uh, this little nice bowl here, which I am going to use it. They call it a, actually they call it a dinner bowl. That's what it's called. So yeah, you, it'd be really pretty for pastas and nice salads and things like that in there. Really unique. And like I said, this bowl was like $4. So I ended up getting like a set of six. So I got a set of six of the bowls and then I got a set of six of the cups. And then I got a set of six of the cup, the uh, plates but really pretty. Now they do have a beautiful, it looks gorgeous in white, really pretty, but the white has been sold out y'all for a long time. And then I did look on the reviews. They said the white kind of scratches. So I went with the kind of softer gray instead of the white. Also, like I said, I picked up the plate and then it's just like a nice simple plate. You know, like I said, it's dishwasher safe, microwave safe, really nice. And the plates were $3. I think the plates were $3. The dinner bowl was $4 and then the coffee cups were $2. So very affordable. Like I said, they look very high end, very modern. So, so next thing, I'm just kind of, this video is all over the place. I'm trying to stay in order with the store. So I'm not like driving y'all crazy, but I did pick up a few things from home goods. Not a lot. I only picked up like maybe three items from home goods. So the first item I picked up was, um, was this decorative rolling pin and i mainly got this for decoration purposes y'all because i thought it was so cute it's 9.99 it comes with this little base and then it has this is a real is real marble very heavy but it look this will look really cute in your kitchen stacked against some nice cutting boards and things like that 
for creating nice and beautiful vignettes. So I got this one. I've seen one on the websites, a different website. They wanted like $50 for a marble rolling pin. So when I found it at Home Goods, I quickly picked it up and, you know, grabbed it because I thought it'll look really nice in my kitchen. So I got that. Then I also from Home Goods, I picked up, I picked up this little faux marble craft thingy thing i found this in the bathroom section i don't know I, I don't even know what it's used for but i'm gonna use it to hold my wooden spoons in now i've seen a real marble container they had one um a really nice one at cb2 but they wanted like 50 or 60 dollars for it so i didn't want to pay 50 or 60 dollars for a, just a plain little you know thing to put your spoons and stuff in so i found this one at home goods it was 9.99 and it's full marble but it still has the marbling detail and everything in there and like i said it's in a bathroom section but i'm going to use it to put my wooden spoons so i thought that'll look really nice in there you know filled with some beautiful wooden spoons on my counter I need a new cutting board for my uh, to cut up my raw meats and things like that. You know, because I always like to use a different cutting boards for you know different foods and stuff like for your meats versus your vegetables. So I needed a new one. So I got this. Um, I think this was. I got this nice one. It's by the Catskill brand. It was seven ninety nine at Home Goods. Really good quality. Very thick. And it's just like a plain cutting board to use to cut like your raw foods and things like that. So that was it for home goods. I've been going to home goods for the, you know, quite a few times over the last few weeks. I just haven't found anything that cut, uh, was, you know, I haven't found anything that caught my eye. I've been mainly searching for kitchen essentials and I've been searching for patio things. That's what I've been kind of, you know, searching for when I go into those stores because those are the areas that we're working on at the moment. So but I did pick up a few items from Bath & Body Works. I picked up three new uh, spring scents. So I'm going to share that with you all. So the first one I picked up was this candle here. Y'all, if y'all haven't gotten this candle, White Gardenia by Bath & Body Works, it smells amazing. And when I tell you it is strong, it is super strong. Like I would light this in my living room and I can smell this candle all the way to the back during where my family room is. That's how strong it is. So I definitely would recommend this and it definitely smells like a fresh cut gardenia flower. And I got these candles when they were on sale at Bath and Body Works for, um, they had the candles like $15 for the three wick candles. I also picked up one of my absolute favorites. This is Rose Water Ivy. I love this candle. If you're looking for a nice subtle smell that's still give you, give off a nice scent, but not too powerful, this is a really good one too as well. This one smells like a fresh bouquet of fresh roses. It just smells amazing, you guys. I just love this. I just love roses, period. But it's just nice to have a candle and you kind of get this fresh scent of fresh roses all throughout your house. And then I love the pink... Um, the pink packaging that it has, has on there, just really nice for spring. Then I also picked up, this is a new one for me. It's called Cinnamon, what is it? Cinnamon Spice Vanilla. So I haven't burned this one before, but it smells almost like a, like a fresh vanilla and cinnamon, almost kind of like a cookie or a gingerbread cookie. That's what it kind of smells like to me. It smells like this can be more like a fall candle too as well, but it smells good. So I'm very, very excited to try this one and to see how this one smells. So that was it for Bath and Body Works. I did pick up one item from, um, I'm gonna share with you some stuff. I did pick up one item from Neiman Marcus. I did pick up one item from West Elm. And then I did pick up one item from Macy's. So I'm gonna share that with you all um, in the next Actually, week. I've been looking for a new toaster. Well, I've been looking to upgrade my toaster for the longest now. I've been waiting and waiting till this one toaster came back in stock and finally they had one in stock. So I ended up getting the Smeg toaster. I absolutely love the design of this toaster. I love the retro style of it. It's very cute, it's very high end, so it is a little bit pricey, but it's definitely an investment. So I'm gonna share with you all in this clip of the Smeg toaster as well. Okay, so this is the toaster I end up picking up. Isn't she gorgeous? She is so super pretty, you guys. I love the retro style of it. I love the design. I love that it's stainless steel because it's gonna look really cute against my backsplash and my kitchen and everything in there. It's just really nice. So it comes with a few good setting, settings on there. They have like a bagel setting, a defrost setting. It also has a manual labor lever, and then it also has um, uh, this nice dial and all that. It's really cute. So like I said, it was a little bit pricey, so it's definitely an investment, but it's really good toast. I only picked up one item from West Elm, but it's so super cute. So I picked up this cute little 
um, vinegar and oil set, if you guys can kind of see that in the camera. I love it because I love that it has the texture on there. So it's called the Textured uh, Vinegar and Oil Set from West Elm. Very cute. I love it because it's unique and different than it had. It comes with this little tray. So, and it, I love that the fact that each one of the bottles are different um, design on it. So this one kind of has like a stripe design with the little silver uh, top. And then the bottom one also has like this little polka dot design like this, which is really cute and unique. So that way you don't have to put a label on it. You can just, um, you know, you'll know which one is for your oil, which one is for your vinegar because there's no label. Then also it comes with this cute little decorative tray to kind of corral everything together. And the tray also has some nice texture detail on there as well, as well. So I really love that. And I believe this was like maybe... I think I got it for $29 or $30 at West Elm. So cute. But I thought this would look really nice on my counters next to my stove. I really didn't want to get anything that has like the see-through glass on there. I wanted something that's like really cute and decorative. Um, if y'all, one thing that I'm into when decorating, I always try to find stuff that's really cute, but also functions well as, you know, function as well too. So when I saw these um, on their website, I just fell in love with it. I thought they were so cute. Only thing is on the website, it looks white. And then in, in person, it's definitely a more kind of like cream or alabaster color, but in, but it still will work really nice in my kitchen. So um, picked up one item from Macy's. So I picked up one item from Macy's and it's the micro arm canisters. If you've been following me for a while, I have um, already have two sets of the canisters in my kitchen. I needed a third one. So the larger one kind of been out of, well, the larger one had been out of stock. So I was waiting to add that third one there. So I finally picked up the third one. This is the packaging that it comes in. He makes really beautiful housewares, but he makes them kind of like out of art. So they really look really nice, really high end, very creative, just different, different styles. And he uses his, gets his inspiration from nature to create these beautiful pieces for your home. So he also makes um, vases. He has some candle holders. He has beautiful serving trays you know, has beautiful um, candle snuffers, things like that. He has like a whole collection. So the collection that I've been collecting was some of the um, Butterfly Ginkgo collection. It definitely uh, can be very pricey, but a lot, of, a lot of his stuff is very pricey. So it definitely is an investment piece if you buy a few of his pieces. So I was lucky enough to snag two of the canister. I have the smaller one and then I also have the medium one. So I need to pick up the larger one. So I'm going to share with you the larger canister that I got. So this is the larger canister that I got. I never shared this in a haul. I think you guys have just seen it in my kitchen in one of my in my decorating videos, but I just love the architectural detail of these canisters. I love it because it's different. It has the hammered glass and then it also has the hammer stainless steel lid. And then it also has this beautiful uh, butterfly motif at the top. Very nice very high end and it also has like a um airtight seal in the inside too to keep all your stuff fresh it does have some weight to it it can be very fragile so you definitely have to hand wash it and not put it in the uh, dishwasher or anything like that but i always get so many questions on these canisters when you guys see it in my kitchen but that's the brand and that's where they only sold exclusively at macy's i don't think i may have seen them on amazon i'm not sure but like I said, they usually have it at Macy's and sometimes Macy's that have it on sale, they don't go on sale that often, but sometimes when Macy's have their um, big sales and stuff like that during Black Friday, because I think I got my other two during Black Friday. So they usually have, they will have them on sale during that time, but they're just a beautiful craftsmanship. I just really love it. So I'm going to um, use mine to store. I don't know what I'm gonna use. Right now I have it to store my coffee and my K-cups and things like that. But I think I'm gonna change it up and put something else in them. But they just look so gorgeous, you guys, in your kitchen. Very pretty. I love the brass detail and the um, dark color, the brass and the silver, how you can mix the metals together. Just really nice and unique. So yeah. Okay, you guys, so this is a long haul. So I hope you guys have your coffee and your tea. It is pretty early in the morning here. So yeah, so I'm trying to get this done. So I wanna get these videos out. But definitely, um, if you're enjoying this video, please go ahead and thumbs up this video. It really helps out my channel a lot. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe down below. And drop a comment in the video. Drop a comment down below. Let me know which areas of your home you guys are working on this um, this year. So we're definitely, we're working on our kitchen. We're almost done with that. And then we're going to be doing 
having our bathrooms next because I'm trying to, this year, I definitely want to focus on rooms that I haven't touched in years. It definitely needs a refresh. So that's what we're going to be working on. But let me know in the comments what y'all going to be working on this year. Because I definitely want to uh, like to hear what some of your uh, home projects that you're going to be working on. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to Amazon. Amazon has been like my go-to place for different um, home decor. They've been having a really nice, uh, they have, Amazon always have really good products. And I love using Prime because Prime, you get your stuff within at least the next day. Especially since a lot of stuff is like kind of, you know, it takes you longer to get products in when you order from other places. But Amazon seemed to be doing pretty good. So I picked up several items from Amazon for my kitchen. The first item I picked up with this beautiful kind of um, salt container. It's like a marble. It has, it's, very, it's real marble, very heavy. And it has this beautiful veining in there, very deep, very pretty. And it also has like little feet at the bottom and stuff like that so it won't scratch up your counter. I love it because when you open it, it slides open like this. I thought that was so modern and so sleek. And then it has two dividers in there because a lot of ones you see, they'll just have one, it'll just be one container where you could just put one finishing salt in there, but this one has two. So I thought that was really nice. You can put your pink Himalayan salt, you can put your coarse salt, or you can do your pink salt and your uh, coarse black pepper as well in there. So I thought that was really pretty, really cute. So yeah, and this thing was under $20. If you look at any of those high-end websites, you know, like Crate and Barrel, CB2, they can go way higher than 20 bucks. So when I seen it on Amazon, I quickly snatched this up. Okay, so the next item I picked up from Amazon was a new knife set. I definitely, this is something that I need to replace a long time ago. So the current set that I have now is a Pioneer Woman set. It's in kind of like that teal uh, green or, yeah, it's like, almost like a teal green color. So I had that set for at least about seven or eight years now. Still a good set, but some of the blades are kind of starting to rust a little bit. I think because sometimes the kids are putting them in the dishwasher instead of hand washing them. So they kind of like have some of the blades are rusted a little bit. So I definitely want to change those out. Plus I wanted to get something that was gonna match my kitchen. So I found this set on Amazon. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love it. It has, it's the Cuisinart brand and it's a 15 piece set, including the, uh, the block. And I love it because it's white and silver. So it's my color aesthetic. Um, then it has like, it comes with a different, um, a lot of different cool pieces. So it has uh, six steak knives. It has three different paring knives on there. It also has a chef knife and it also has a Santuku knife. Then it also has a shears and then it has a little sharpener to keep your knives sharpened and everything. I love the ones that have a little sharpener because it's really helpful when they start to get dull. But this set was super affordable. I love that the block is more like a honey blonde color. It was like $99, I think, for the whole set. And I love Cuisinart. I have several of their pots and pans it's just like a really good brand it's like one of my go-to brands along with many others but it's a really good affordable brand kitchen i needed to redo my i'm redoing my spice uh drawer or my spice i'm creating a spice cabinet now i have all of my spices in a spice drawer but i definitely wanted to switch that out because it wasn't functional i think my spice drawer is all the way over there by the uh, pantry and then my stove is all the way up front so i wanted to try to i wanted to make everything more functional so i moved my spices to a cabinet by my stove so i wanted to get some nice jars to fit into the cabinet because the cabinet is very narrow very small so i needed something that's going to be able to fit perfectly in that small cabinet so what i found was these beautiful spice containers on amazon and i'll share with you so i found these beauties they're so cute and they came in a set of 10 they have the glass container on you know they have a glass container then it also has this bamboo lid which is really pretty then it also comes with the airtight seal to keep all of your spices and everything fresh so i love this and it was super affordable it was like you get like a set of 10 for like 30 something dollars i believe it was very nice and i like that it's very modern and different it's not kind of like how your usual spice jars are but very updated very modern so i like that so like i said this one came in a set of 10 for 30 something dollars i think it was 35 dollars i'm not sure but I'll have it linked in my um, description box down below. And it also came with some labels with the uh, containers, these black ones, but I didn't like the black that it has on there. Plus you have to write your own stuff on there. I mean, which is not a problem. You can still write your own stuff. If you have really, you know, nice, neat handwriting and all that. But I just didn't like the design of the label. I thought it was kind of a little too harsh for the nice aesthetics of the, of the uh, spice container. So what I did was I went and ordered a set of 
labels. So this is a 75 premium minimalist labels from Amazon and the company is called Brook and Metal. Yeah, the company is called Brook and Metal. That's the name of the company. And then you get 75 in here for $15. And these are really nice, beautiful, high quality lab uh, labels. So you can kind of see the difference. So they come, these are the spice labels that it comes with. Very nice, very minimum. It has your, you know, your traditional spices, uh, your traditional season. It has your garlic salt, sea salt, red pepper, things like that. It has tons of different uh, spices on here, which I'm not going to use all of these, but it definitely has um, all of the ones that I will be using in my spice cabinet. But I love that the label is, uh, is on a high gloss print. I love that it's really minimum, just kind of says the words on there, but it just kind of gives like a nice luxe design as well. So those are the spice labels that it comes with. And it also comes with these larger uh, labels like this for your bigger containers, because I'm going to share with you in the next clip some um, matching storage containers that goes with these spice jars that I'm going to put in the same cabinet. So when it all comes together, it's going to look really nice. So yeah, so these are the labels here and it has like your white flour. It has your powder, sh powder sugar, brown sugar, brown sugar, things like that. So really nice. And like I said, I'll have these linked down in the description box. I picked up these containers. I absolutely love these. They match, they're just the same, they're the exact same as those spice jars. It's just in a larger form. So it still has glass on it, it has the bamboo lid, and then it still comes with your airtight seal. So the pack that I got, they come in, it was a six pack, a six pack set for $35. So you get six of these kind of like medium size jars. And then you also get no, you get three of these medium-sized jars. I'm sorry. You get three of these medium-sized jars, and then you also get three of these. You also get three of these smaller jars. So you can kind of see the difference in size. But you get it wasn't bad. You get six for thirty-five dollars. If you probably buy these individually in the store, it would definitely be a little bit more pricier. So Amazon did have them a really good deal. So like I said, it'd look really nice with those labels that I got. So the cabinet that I have is very small and narrow. I mean, it is a very small and narrow cabinet, but these jars are able to fit perfectly in that space comfortably. So I got a whole organization video that's going to be coming up on me. Um, redoing that spice that spice cabinet so you guys will get to see all of this stuff in play but yeah it'll fit perfectly inside of that that cabinet so i ended up picking up two sets so that i'll have some for my spice cabinet and then i also have some for my pantry yeah okay you guys so i forgot to share with you all i did pick up some decorative pillows from home goods i picked up some pillows from my so patio these nice um patio pillows for my porch i'm so into my patio you guys i'm just wanted to really create an outdoor space because we've been spending a lot of time at home. So I really want to make it really nice and comfortable, have a lot of plants and flowers, like live plants and flowers and stuff like that. So I picked up this throw pillow from um, Home Goods. It's an outdoor pillow. It has the nice natural look around the edges. And then it also has like this nice, beautiful, beautiful tan um, or light cream. Um, it has this nice, beautiful light cream color to it. So it matches my patio furniture perfectly and then the good thing is that it came in a set so i thought that was a really good deal so it came in a set of two for like 16 dollars. and i've seen some that are very similar to this on the pottery barn website for like 39 dollars a pillow so i thought that was a super good deal so i always try to find some high-end dupes to uh find stuff that's a little bit more affordable than at the high-end stores so it's just a nice really uh really nice um outdoor pillow so yeah i picked up these and like i said it came in a set then i also picked up one other pillow patio pillow from target i picked up this cute one this little natural looking one i love this one because it has some nice texture to it and um it's kind of plain you know like a light color tan on the opposite side too like this cream is creamish color on the opposite side this is really cute so i thought this would look really nice paired next to um this pillow on my patio i thought it looked really nice on my um, patio sofa 
And so, yes, yeah, so I picked that up. And then also I bought some beautiful planters from Target. They are really nice because my goal is to put some beautiful blue Jupiter trees in there to um, sit on the side of my patio. So I found some beautiful white containers. I picked up three from Target. So I'm gonna insert a picture of those containers in this video because I already got those planted outside. So I'll just go ahead and insert for y'all a clip so y'all can kind of see those kind of guys. So we are almost to the end of this haul, yay! So I know it was a long haul, you guys. So I did pick up a few things from my local grocery store. It's called HEB. So I found these cute little coffee scoops. Now, I think I shared this with you all on my channel, or maybe not, but I already have one that I use for my coffee, my loose coffee that I have. And it's just like a nice little uh, stainless steel scoop. But I like it because the stainless steel is a nice size. And it was only like maybe three or four dollars or six. I think it was seven ninety nine at the uh, at my grocery store. But so I ended up picking up two. Every time I come in there and if I see these little things, I pick them up. The brand is called Progressive, so you can probably Google it and see if you can find it somewhere. But it's called Prep Works uh, Progressive Coffee Scoop. So if you see, but I got these not just for coffee because I already have one for my coffee. But I thought this would be nice to put inside of my containers for like my flour and baking soda and things like that to put inside my clear those clear jars that i just showed you guys in a, in a previous clip because i don't I'm always looking for some really cute nice scoops that don't cost that much that i can kind of leave in the jar you know to you know use for my season and things like that so this day they only had like two available so i'm gonna go back and see if i can find some more but like I said, they were very inexpensive, like maybe four or five dollars. I think it's between four and seven. I can't remember, but I just thought this was really cute and unique. So definitely, I probably have to. I think I'll probably end up googling it too, just to see if I can find it somewhere else, maybe on Amazon somewhere where I can get a bunch so of. So that is it for this video, you guys. I hope you all enjoyed this shopping haul. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed the shopping haul. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. I thank you all so so much for watching, and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.